All right, we are here in the Spur Arena at the San Angelo Ag Mechanic Show. We have the one and only Asa Green here with his project. Uh, we do have various other students uh, in the Ag Mech program that are working on projects for future shows, but for this particular show, the one and only Asa Green. And uh, as you can see, he has been judged and he did get a blue ribbon, uh, which is a very good, good achievement for this show because I'm going to tell you right now, there are a lot of people. Yeah, you'll just take a look. There are a lot of projects showing here at San Angelo. And so we're going to let Asa tell us a little bit about this, but. Uh, for right now, it's a mineral feeder. For everyone at home that doesn't know, this is a mineral feeder. But Asa, have at it. Let us know what you built here. All right, so this is a mineral feeder for your broke apart minerals, like your salt and your trace minerals. You put them down inside of here, and the rubber mat on top keeps them dry and keeps the sun off of them, where they're fresher for the cows to eat. Because, because with loose mineral, when you get moisture in the air, condensation, any kind of moisture, it hardens. Yes, sir. And then it becomes more like a lick block. They don't get it. They don't, they don't consume as much as what they're supposed to. So this here is to help it from prevent it to caking, right? To, yes, sir. To where it doesn't get hard. Yes, sir. It makes it easier for the cows to eat and it keeps it where they like it. How long do you think it will take for the cows to figure out that they have to lift this up in order to get to the mineral? Well, it depends. You can uh, teach them with a couple weeks if you tie the tops open. Oh, okay. And then they will learn to lift it up over time. Um, ours have already learned to do it. That's why we put this ring in here so that the edge is easier for them to pick up. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I see that. So this looks very well heavy duty made. <laughs> it, is, it is very heavy. It is very heavy. How much do you think it weighs? Probably close to 100 pounds. 100 pounds. I mean, that's lightweight for me. For you, it's I don't a know, it might be pushing you, but, but lightweight for me, I can just pick this up, throw it on my shoulder. So this is more kind of a, once you put it out in the pasture, it's going to be set. Yes, sir. Whenever you put this out, wherever you want to put it, it's going to stay there. When you fill it with minerals, it's going to get extra heavy. You're not going to want to move that around yeah. very much. Yeah. How long did it take you to, to build it? About 14 and a half hours. 14 and a half hours. And, and did you sit down and do that all in one day? Or did you do that like, like during school, after school? We did this all after school. We worked about an hour and a half a day. Oh, okay. So, so did, like, don't you have basketball practice though after school? Yes, sir. We would get out and after we were done with basketball, we would work on it. Such commitment coming from the young man. Hour and a half after basketball practice, which I'm pretty sure the way Morrow runs basketball practice, that's gonna take them on into dinner time. So did you skip dinner a couple times? I mean a couple of nights a week we did have to we're skip. We're gonna it. have to we're gonna have to talk to Morrow about this. We, he's out here starving kids now, so but uh so uh what you're looking to sell this or are you gonna take this back to the ranch and feed your own cows? We're gonna take it back to the ranch and feed our own cows with it. Oh, okay. So your dad's paying you? Yes, sir. He is paying me for okay. it. Okay. That, like 500 is that is that right i mean that's, that's well, about right i think it costs about 300 to make so i'll probably give it to him for 300. dang it got to work with me here okay okay like, like you get i mean you got to get that money from your dad when you can okay ain't right. nothing in life free for him so yes sir <laughs> so anything else you want to tell us about why did you pick the color blue that was the cheapest color oh that's a good answer. <laughs> so, blue is cheaper than green, so we went with Ford blue. Why not purple? They don't have purple. They didn't have purple paint. <laughs> they had blue, green, and orange. They might have purple spray paint. Maybe. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that be unless you got something else special to tell us, then that uh, that about concludes this interview. Hey, congratulations, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. Blue ribbon on well, it, working hard. Yeah. So, congratulations, man. Thank you.